Uh, did he say anything at all about Twitter? Sure. Well, first, this big pivot for Salesforce. Uh, they're always talking about growth. Now they're talking about profitable growth. Uh, they're talking about the, a big target for revenue, but they're also saying, listen, shareholders, you're going to get capital. That has not been Salesforce's way. They just they had just been buying company after buying company after buying company. I pulled a switcheroo on, on, on uh, Mr. Taylor. What I said was, look, uh, I can talk about Twitter because I didn't want him to say I can't talk about Twitter. Um, but he actually, I thought, I, I, I think he made you feel that that Elon Musk is very much, Elon Musk might own that company. He did not say yeah. that point blank. But I think no. the perception is among everybody, and I think in his team, uh, his team at Salesforce, not his team at Twitter, is that Elon Musk is about to be hand, handed one of the great pieces of real estate, which is Twitter, and Twitter may be actually doing well. And that is, is what Brett said, that Twitter's doing well. You know, David, that's not been an error at all. No, that's not the consensus. You said it yesterday, which seems to be more if this deal were to break and this were simply to be trading on its fundamentals and or lack of them, the stock might be as low as 15, which means that at 54.20, uh, well, you could argue Mr. Musk would be overpaying significantly for this asset, which, of course, Twitter argues is the only reason that he wants to get out and has nothing to do with his claim that the um, proportion of bots on the uh, platform is far in excess of anything they've said. Remember, it's not just that he can say that and might even be true. He's got to prove intent, fraud, and a material adverse effect on the merger agreement. And so to your point, Jim, there is a, a belief amongst those who own the stock here, certainly, and many others who are following the case, that uh, the judge or Chancellor McCormick in this case may well order specific performance, which would mean, Mr. Musk, you need to buy this company on the terms that you agreed to, 5420. We'll see. Right. Now, Brett did not We're a little say less anything than a month about out from the beginning. Yeah. Right. But, he said uh, nothing about any of those things. He did just say, look, the company's doing well. Would not comment on mm -hmm. anything involving, involving litigation. But, David, I got to right. ask you. If the company's doing well, does anybody care right now? If the company, I'm sorry, I'm not following the question. If the well, company I mean, is doing well, uh, yeah. I mean, all these companies, they always, do you think that, that Meta says it's doing poorly? I mean, Pinterest, no one ever comes out and says, listen, we're doing poorly right now. What a great opportunity for, uh, for buyers. Uh, in this case, the buyer's Elon Musk. It was, I found reassuring that, that Brett said that, you know, Twitter's doing fine. Uh, not reassuring that he would, well, he's not allowed to comment on Musk, but I, I still think, no, David, no. this stock mean, goes down substantially. Yeah, uh, without a doubt. If this deal, if Musk were to be let out of the deal or with a small payment or something along those lines, uh, this stock collapses. There's just no collapses. doubt about it. It collapses. Um, I think that's totally That said, right. you know, the key question for Mr. Taylor will be, uh, do they decide in some way to try to enter some sort of settlement toss with Musk, given the risk, however small it may be, that they don't get specific performance in court and therefore are willing to take three, four, five bucks off that purchase price to guarantee that Mr. Musk will step up and buy it. No, no sign yet. No sign yet they're willing to do that, Jim, but, None. you know, we're still a ways out from the trial beginning. Uh, I, I think that the way that the market is treating these kinds of stocks, uh, the people who are on in Twitter right now at this price, they uh, they need they need uh, a completed deal with Musk, or else they're going to lose a ton of money. Yeah.